Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Eric. I'm here for a DVD update. Um, so I, so I've been trying like forever, like to find this goddamn thing at stores. I tried finding it at Walmart, didn't have it. Target didn't have it. Hastings, I, I don't know if any of you guys have a Hastings over where you live, and Hastings has pretty much every goddamn movie ever made, but they didn't have it. So, and I thought. Hastings doesn't have it, and they have every goddamn movie ever made. And so I tried Shopco, didn't have it. And then Costco, I don't know if you guys have a Costco, but one time at um, one time at Costco, I actually saw it there. It was on sale for like 150 bucks, but uh, I didn't have the money, and uh, and yeah, and I thought that I was gonna get it for Christmas. But I didn't get it, so I was really, really bummed out that I didn't get it. And I even asked for it for Christmas, but I didn't get it. So then, uh, and so then I tried to, to go back to Costco. The problem is I don't have a, I, I don't have a Costco card, and you have to have a Costco card to go shopping at Costco. So I thought, fuck, I, I'm going through all this trouble just for that, just for that. And so then I asked my parents, oh well, could you go to Costco and then buy it for me? And so then I gave them my money, they went to Costco, and it wasn't there. Seriously, I saw it there that one time, on sale for 150 bucks. Now it's not there. <laughs> and I got pretty pissed off, and so then I was like, you know what, I give up, I'm just gonna order it off of the internet. It'd be so much easier. And so then I did, I got it used, and uh, here it is. The James Bond 50, 50 years of James Bond, or whatever. It has all of the official James Bond movies, the official ones by uh, Eon. It it don't have the unofficial ones like like the unofficial remake of Thunderball, the Never Say Never Again with Sean Connery and the nineteen sixties Casino Royale. And yeah, um, I finally got my hands on it, and for used. It looks brand spanking new. And yeah, um, when I when I came home, I found that box on my bed, and I thought, a box? Oh, I know what it is. And so then I opened it up. Joy, yes, I finally have it. Yes, finally. Yeah, it was a little bit more than how it was at Costco. Um, this one cost like around like 200 bucks. I thought, hey, it's only gonna get like a few extra bucks. And I didn't need like to buy like the new one like for like three hundred bucks. Oh god, no! I don't need that. And then, as I said, the goddamn thing looks brand spanking new anyway, so I don't need so I don't need to worry. So yeah, now I have all of the official James Bond movies on Blu-ray, so I know what I'm watching tonight. So I'll put it back over here. So now I can just uh, where did I put them? Oh yeah, I just just might as well just sell these because it's really big I can't, I can't talk today I was kind of stuttering in there but uh there's really no point to have these anymore so I'm just probably just gonna sell them <laughs> and yeah um you might be saying Eric I never knew that you were a big James Bond fan yeah actually I have um I've been a big Bond fan since I was like shoot uh I think 12 um so I have always had like this long 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 time friend named uh brian um he has always been obsessed with uh, james bond and then i always asked him brian why are you so obsessed with james bond and well and then he, he was saying eric you you just gotta go watch one of them so i did and you you guys are probably gonna kill me but the first james bond movie i ever saw was die another day back then i liked it now mm, uh, yeah um and back then I liked it, you know, when you're a kid, you like anything, so you really don't care if it's good or not, you just like the explosions and all that, and I always thought that James Bond was cool because, because, well, he has the gadgets, which actually, James Bond wasn't actually like that in the Ian Fleming novels, but that's kind of a trademark of James Bond, and his car is cool, um, he gets the girls, and he has a license to kill, he's just... He's awesome. So yeah, um, 
Oh yeah, and, and I love his theme song. So you might be asking me, Eric, who's your favorite James Bond? Well, honestly, um, um, I do respect Sean Connery because he was the big because he was the first James Bond, and he kind of set the standard. And as you, and as that saying says, you you gotta respect your elders. But honestly, shit, who's been trying to text me? Oh, it's my next door neighbor. But anyways, uh, honestly, my favorite James Bond is Pierce Brosnan. The reason is because, well, whenever I hear James Bond, I always picture Pierce Brosnan. Mainly it's because that he's the Bond that I grew up with. The first Bond movie I saw was Die Another Day. I had the GoldenEye video game for the Nintendo 64, back when I had a Nintendo 64. And I have uh, this masterpiece of a game. Hold up. Yeah, there we go. Nightfire. Freaking love. I love this game. It is awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah, I kind of wish that they would put uh, GoldenEye on from the N64 on like Xbox Live Arcade or something. That would be pretty awesome. So yeah, um... So yeah, Pierce Brosnan's my favorite, even though, yeah, Daniel Craig is uh, like a lot of buffer and all that, which is cool and all, because while well, James Bond is, you, you know, like an action person, so he should be, you, you know, physical, but honestly, Daniel Craig is a good James Bond, but to me, he just doesn't look like James Bond. It's just mostly his ears, how they're, I don't know if you can really see it, but it's how like, it's like all... I got so much damn hair, but like that, it's just, it's, he just doesn't look like Bond. He, he, he just doesn't look like it to me, but hey, that's just me. That's just me. Yeah, um, and my least favorite Bond, hmm, Roger Moore was kind of over the top, but George Lazenby was only Bond once. And, yeah, so, uh, I also liked Timothy Dalton. I kind of wish that he would have been Bond longer, but whatever. And I was so bummed out when they said that Pierce was, wasn't going to be Bond anymore. I was like, God damn it, that sucks. And so I thought, well, who I think would be a good Bond is Clive Owen. And even Pierce himself even, he even said that Clive Owen should be the next James Bond. Sorry, I got thirsty there, and, and I love my goddamn Gatorade. So anyways, I've done enough chit-chat. I have been doing a lot of talking today because of, you know, drama with the friend. I mean, with a friend. And I've, honestly, I've been kind of sad lately because of the whole thing with, uh, with uh, Ollie. I don't know if you saw my video about it, and saw what I post on Facebook about it, but yeah, I've been really, really sad about that, but hey, I know what can cheer me up, Bond, James Bond, so anyways, I've been blabbing on for like almost like nine minutes now, so if, if I'm gonna get, ugh, I can't talk today, if I can't, wait, I was gonna say something, but I completely forgot what it was, god damn it, but anyways, uh, shoot, what was I gonna say? I don't know, but later. Oh, yeah. The name's Eric. Eric Vietta.